Hey, good day. How's it going? Uh, welcome to Bootlosophy. My name is Tech, and uh, I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands here on which I'm recording, the Wajik people uh, of Nungabuja. Now, I'm doing an out of sequence video uh, just to introduce a couple of pairs of jeans that I got recently. Uh, now, I, I'm not a denim head by any means, and up until very recently, I bought jeans basically out of uh, chain brands that you get in, in shopping centers, you know, um, and not bad ones, people like Gasman, and I bought a couple of R, uh, R. M. Williams jeans. Uh, and, and up until recently, when I've been starting to get jeans out of the US, out of Huckbury in particular, uh, and then I got introduced into denim, I suppose, because of my penchant for boots. And for those of you who have just got into this video because it talks about denim, just be aware that my channel is really about boot reviews. So go and have a look at my channel after this video. And if you like the boot reviews, and I, I've done loads of videos by now, uh, don't forget to subscribe. So um, these two pairs of jeans are from uh, Gustin out of the US. I've, I've not heard of the brand before, as I said, because I'm not really a denim head, but I think a lot of people, uh, particularly in the boot world, have heard of Gustin and have bought a couple of pairs. And uh, I'll put a link to their website below so you can have a look. I was introduced to them by a video from a friend of mine, Jordan, who has a channel on YouTube called uh, Boot Jeans and the Odd Watch, also a boot review channel, but he does a lot more in clothing than I do. Uh, and it's really, uh, I, I guess both of us are uh, reviewing clothing that goes along with boots. Um, now, these are US made denim jeans, um, Salvage. They haven't, Gustin has a really interesting uh, concept for making the jeans. They're actually crowd-funded, but they're crowd-funded internally. If you go take a look at their website with the link below, um, you find that what they do, their model is that they announce a pair of jeans and then they uh, get pre-orders and until the uh, crowdfunding target is reached, they don't make the jeans, but once it's reached, they then start making the jeans and fulfill orders and they make enough to also be in stock. So if you go and have a look, there are some past um, models of jeans that they've done that are still in stock, no longer in crowdfunding, so you get your jeans faster. Uh, but also they do tend to run out. So if you like those jeans, go and have a look at them now. Um, the, the crowdsourcing doesn't take too long. I think on average, it takes about two weeks to be fully funded and then they start producing. And I got these within, oh, don't forget, they had to be shipped to Australia. I got these within two weeks of ordering them. So let's take a look at each pair in turn. This first pair is what they call the 1968 jean, uh, selling currently for 109 US uh, dollars. It's made from dead stock uh, denim coming out of uh, Cone Mills, 1968 raw selvage denim. Uh, it's a 20 ounce denim, so it's fairly heavy, and I'm learning these terms as we go, so forgive me. Um, and, and really reminds me of jeans that, you know, I had as a kid, um, because in, what is it, 72, 73, when I was um, a teenager, um, you bought Levi's, and I obviously had Levi's and Wranglers when I was a kid, and this kind of feels like it. There is no elastane in this at all. This is, this is um, proper... Uh, heavy uh, 20 ounce denim. Uh, it's a straight cut jean. Um, you can get them in uh, straight, slim or skinny. This one I chose as a straight to go over cowboy boots. Sizing uh, is real sizes. When they talk about 34 inches, which this one is, that's your actual measurement. Now, I'm usually buying my jeans at 32 inches, which I, I readily admit is vanity sizing. I haven't been 32 inches around my waist for a long time. Um, and if you measure your waist, you find that it's not the sort of measurement of jeans that you normally buy out of uh, mall uh, and, and uh, branded shops. Um, but this is real uh, true to size. One of the things about Gustin though is uh, their jeans that are 34 inch at the waist or more, you get a uh, 36 inch in inseam. Now, I normally wear, uh, as I said, a vanity size 32 inch 
with a 32 inch inseam. Now that means I'm actually a 34 inch, but with a 32 inch inseam. So this being 36 inches is about that much uh, too long. Now, yes, I can cuff them uh, at some stage, <laughs> but I think what I'm gonna do is actually get them tailored. Um, but while I'm talking about that, let's go through the details of this pair of jeans. As you can see, the contrast uh, stitching in a sort of ochre brown goes all the way through. Uh, inside the uh, uh, hem is stitched with the signature red stitch, including that there. The, uh, there is one belt loop that has a selvage edge showing, just to show people that it is selvage, I guess. Some really interesting detailing on the back pockets. I'm not sure if you can see in this light, but there is that double stitch there, uh, narrowing down, and then there's a single stitch right across. And I think that seems to be the signature uh, stitch in the back pocket, matching back pocket. Uh, the, there's a leather patch with the gustin that's been hand stamped. And the, it, it, is a, it is a button fly. And the hardware is sort of grayish, almost lead looking uh, metal, uh, including that sort of grayish uh, lead looking um, rivets. There's some uh, evidence of red stitching everywhere just to sort of brand it as a salvage article. Uh, the, the, uh, the pockets are standard five pocket jeans pockets with a very small coin pocket. It's not that deep, that much. Uh, and overall, extremely um, heavy in feel compared to the sort of elastane mixed cotton jeans that I, I usually wear. Uh, it, it's, as you can see, it's a nice blue uh, denim and the fade is going to be quite interesting. Uh, if I get a chance to tailor this and, and lose about four inches, I'll show you some pictures of me with them on to see how they fit. But I will also insert a few photos from the website to show the fades and so on. Okay, now let's take a look at the second pair. And this is the uh, Okayama Standard Jean, uh, US $161. In this case, I ordered a slim fit, which when I tried it on, uh, it's actually not that slim. I mean, I have a pair of Huckberry slim fits and that's actually quite snug, particularly with the elastane, not uncomfortable. These are really heavy and I think, um, I, they're not uncomfortable at all, but they're, they're obviously a little looser in the thigh, uh, despite being a, a slim fit. Now, this is a Japanese salvage denim and again, you can see the sort of red uh, mark to show off uh, the brand, the branding. Uh, it's a Japanese selvage denim with the uh, selvage edges. Uh, it's 14 and a half ounces. So again, fairly thick, fairly robust. Um, it has ID stitching in various places. There's that selvage belt loop again, only one out of all of them. Uh, again, that leather patch hand stamped and again, button fly uh, with similar sort of leaded kind of look uh, hardware right round. Very, very well made, very tough and, and uh, uh, you know, that's not going to go anywhere. Again, the contrast stitching. The pockets are a little bit different. So you've got that double stitch, but this stitch line is a little bit different. Not quite sure why, really. Um, but again, extremely robust, still four inches longer than it should be on me. Um, and this selvage has quite a different weave on it. And I think this is really going to fade even better. And particularly after it's gone through uh, a few weeks of wear before I, I uh, try and, and wash it. Um, the, the denim indigo doesn't come off on my hands, but it does feel as if it will, I think, with wear and uh, moisture and so on rubbing off on it. Okay, let's uh, summarize. Yeah, so as I say, um, I'm not a denim expert by any means, but I'm, I'm actually thrilled to get a couple of pairs of Gustin jeans in my hands. I haven't held this type of denim 
since I was a kid. And I, and I do remember my um, Levi's and my Wranglers feeling like this, you know, in my teenage years. Uh, as I grew older, comfort became a factor and, and people uh, who were making materials and jeans started putting elastane and a little bit of stretch fabric in them, what is it, 20 odd years ago, I guess, 30 years ago even. Uh, and so I haven't felt a pair of denim like this in a long time. I'm, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to wearing them in and breaking them in like you would boots. I'm going to tailor them. Uh, I'm not a cuffing kind of guy. I'm going to tailor them so that if I have to cuff, I'll just cuff a little bit. They are, uh, I think, they fit me really well, uh, and except for the length. And I, I, as, as I say, I'm not a, I don't believe in cuffing. I just don't look good with cuffs and, around my ankles. So, uh, as I said, this is not my usual video, but um, I'll uh, try these on and I'll bring them back to you if you're interested to see um, how they break in. Uh, go and have a look at my boot videos if you don't know bootlosophy. Uh, I do many more boot videos and very few clothing videos. So if you like the boots, click on subscribe. Otherwise, click on like. And until the next time, I hope I do see you. See you again soon.